Hey shop rats, welcome to United Prop Builders. I'm your host Adam Hazy, and today we're going to go ahead and give you an update on what's been going on with R2D2. I've spent a lot of time working on them, so let's jump into it. The first thing I did is I cut out these back panels here so that I have a little access door just like the ones in the movies. That way I can bolt the legs in, add electronics inside, or do whatever it is I need to do. And once it's closed, it's flush and you can barely tell. After that, I went ahead and did a test fitting to see how all the legs would work out with the R2-D2 body. Looks pretty good to me. Went ahead and started working on the dome, where I glued a bunch of different sections of foam together, sanded it down, tried to seal it with some quick seal, and hopefully it turns out okay. I also added some support beams, not really beams, but support discs inside of the head so that it can keep its shape along with getting a bottom plate in there, and there you can see the supports for it to make sure they stay together. After that I grabbed my hot knife, went ahead and carved more details into the dome piece, and there you can see the quick seal. Hopefully the dome turns out good once it's painted, I'm not entirely happy with it right now. Then I went ahead and got some of the really thin foamies, stretched it around the top of the legs just to get rid of that ugliness that we had. After that I went ahead and got the arms done and the eye section cut out, got those built, and got the little square piece of the legs put on and finally I ended the day by spray painting blue the little arm pieces and the eye hole so remember keep on building make sure to subscribe to United Prop Builders for more progress on R2-D2 hope you had an awesome Force Friday and until next time I'm your host Adam Hazy signing out